Welcome back, folks, to Let's Play Harvest Moon 64. I'm Samurai Tex, and when we last left off, we had the Cow Festival in the last video. And, well, we spoiled ourselves by drinking a lot of milk. Did we really get to judge a cow? Uh, they didn't really ask me to judge, they only asked me to taste. So I tasted. But, next festival will be the Harvest Festival, which is next week. And if you hear some whistling, I have a parrot. Of course you guys know that I have birds, so... Yeah... If you hear the bird, the, if you hear the whistling and the noise, it's from the parrot. I just hope the parrot doesn't make too much noise. By that I mean uh, just squawk loud, because it tends to squawk very, very loud. Especially when it doesn't get much attention. That's why I don't really pay it much mind. When, when, when you're not in the mood or something and it just wants to squawk, you just, you just look at it and just don't talk to it. Just look at it and just, it will be quiet. Not as in like the angry stare, just look at it and it's like, just, no, just don't do it, <laughs> you know, if you, I'm not saying that I do any ba bad things to the parrot, but, you know, all I do is whenever it screams and stuff, it does scream, like squawk, when it does that, I just look at the bird and just think, don't do it, and it stops, and then, um, he would just um, start talking, just going, hello, or, you know, or, um, bye, you know, th that's one of his favorite words, is bye, you could be, you could be just sitting there, and it says bye, as in like, yeah, bye, you know, as in like, you just told me, I'm thinking I'm leaving, but if it sees me putting on my uh, jacket, or my hooded top, and, um, here's the keys rattle, it says bye as well, well, he does, because it's a boy, but yeah, the bird, the parrot is pretty good, when it wants to be, I mean, um, there is times that it's destructive, but, um, that's okay, um, I'm not really too bothered about it. Um, some animals can um, be a bit destructive, especially when they get new used to the surroundings. I suppose that's a thing that tends to happen, but um, I'm not too mad at the birds. Like, with birds, birds are messy, so um, might I mean their feathers go all over the place whenever they um, spread their wings, but they're birds. What do you want them to do? Not spread their wings and flap. You know, just what do you want them to do? You know, and um, I don't really mind. People say the birds are some of the messiest animals. I gotta agree, they are, but they're not really... I, I'm never too fussed about the birds when they're messy. You know, you, you have a bird, you just gotta love it, you know? You gotta give the bird love, you know? You can't just buy animals and then just leave them to starve and die. That's just terrible. I heard a story about a bluebird in this mountain which brings happiness. You see? Now they're talking about birds. Birds, the, with birds, there's something about birds and um, with me that they just give me that good vibe. They're so peaceful. Um, I have finches in my room, so they're very peaceful. They they only make they only um, when you hear them chirp like you have in my videos. Um, I know um, during my Phoenix Wright and Wolfenstein Let's Plays, you heard a lot of loud chirping. That's because they had babies then, but um, these days, because the babies are older and the parents are obviously older. Monkey! Come here, monkey. Thank you. Right, um, as I was saying, as the birds are older, they only really chirp and sing. So yeah, I don't really mind. I like it when they sing slash chirp because it's, um, very, it's very peaceful. You know, um, the birds do give you a peace of mind as well. Whenever you're just thinking, you just hear them chirping. You know, even even in the morning when you're sleeping, um, sometimes when I'm sleeping, because sometimes I do tend to sleep, um, there's days that I tend to sleep a lot, and then there's days that I don't. But um, the days that I do tend to sleep um, till the afternoon, when I'm very tired from working on videos and editing, because sometimes I do stay up late to do both, like to like um, three, four o'clock in the morning. Sometimes I'm like that because I like to get them done, you know, and I don't want to be uh, backlogged and whatnot. So I do stay up a bit late to do that. So whenever I do that, um, the birds always um, chirp me to sleep, which I do like. So yeah, um, the birds do have a peaceful melody about them, and I do like birds. So um, yeah, if you if you do like birds and you've always think about getting one, I recommend you do get a bird. But they do take a while to get used to in your house, so uh, before you even think about training them, the best thing you do with birds is um, let them get used to the room they're in. If you put them in your room, if your room, it depends on the room you put them in, because they. They gotta be in a peaceful room, especially when they have eggs. When they, as soon as they lay eggs, if you have two birds together, like a boy and a girl, obviously, if they if they um, have eggs, you gotta put them in a more peaceful room so that um, um, 
they can um, you know breed the baby and whatnot and make sure they're warm you want to make sure they're warm at all times so um my room is pretty warm i'm not saying that mine are um, having babies but um you gotta always keep them warm and give them love so yeah, you always gotta keep them warm at all times and um I'm not gonna have no, the library's closed, but yeah, you gotta keep them warm at all times and let them cover the babies and whatnot. So yeah, you gotta be very, very um, nice with the birds. But yeah, um, birds are very fun to have. I I've always enjoyed having birds in in my um, life and lately. I I can't say I've had birds in my life all the time. Okay, my um, grandparents always had um, budgies or um, cockatiels actually. Uh, my my nan my grandma has a cockatiel actually. Funny enough, the cockatiel was actually staying here before we sent it to her, and um, yeah, he's still there. Of course, um, he makes he used to chirp us a lot. As soon as he heard birds outside, he would always make noise. But yeah, as you can see, I am a bird lover. I've turned into a bird lover over the past few years because I've um, I've um, had birds in my house. Right, so let's we'll check the weather tomorrow. The forecast will be clear and become a lovely autumn day. Yeah, just the usual, and uh, it will tell us about the harvest festival. Right, the eggplants. The eggplants have been taking forever to get ready. Right, let's see if the eggplants are ready now. Hey! Oh, look, it is one of these. Oh, nice. Oh, fantastic. All right, so these um, I'm gonna definitely uh, with with my greenhouse. I'm definitely gonna have tomatoes, corn, eggplants, among other things. But awesome. Alright, so we're going to definitely gain a lot of profit this month. I was hoping the eggplants do this, and they do, so excellent. So we got about 16 eggplants. So what I really should have done is cut the... Uh, I didn't know it was going to do this. I totally forgot the eggplants do that, so... Yeah, I can't really cut the um, eggplant in the middle anymore. But at least we're going to gain a significant amount of profit during the times of the winter, uh, the autumn. So that's the best part of this. We're going to gain such a profit... Oops, <clears throat> before we do anything, let's not feed the dog eggplant. Let's feed the dog this. Come here. Right, hopefully Otacon is somewhere around because I um, don't be too distracted. So we're going to do is pick all these up. Pick up all these eggplants. Yeah, I'm calling the horse so that I can brush it. But if it doesn't come, then um, what we're going to do is just run in here and just do the usual, which is... Um, the eggplant selling. So yeah, we're going to make a lot of profit here. I'm probably going to give an eggplant to Maria. I'm not sure if she likes eggplants, but um, do we get a recipe for eggplants? I don't even know, you know, but um, best thing about um, the winter now is that I can gain a lot of money. So the horse racing festival, I have over 30,000. So that is fantastic. Whoops. I really need to stop using the whistle button. Stop it. I don't know why. Stop. I keep pressing um, the left side, uh, the right side, wait, yeah, I keep pressing the right side the analog, I think the left side is also the whistle, so yeah, I keep pressing the right side, which makes me call, um, the horse, I think the horse is the right side, most of the time it is the bloody horse that goes missing, so yeah, um, I suppose I need to stop doing that, but, um, calling the horse is always, um, important to me, because I gotta brush it, and, um, I don't know where it is, because the horse always goes missing more than the dog. The dog's always in front of my house, so I don't really find it an issue. Alright, we need to water the plants as well, so... Let's put the watering can in there. See you later, chickens. Oh yeah, we still need to do the water um, egg plants. Alright, so let's go back in here and sell the eggs. I'm not going to give nobody the eggs, but we're making a lot of money today. I think we're going to make at least... I guarantee um, over a um, thousand or two thousand, because I think we still put the... Um, other things we got, like the mushrooms and whatnot previously in there, so we're going to make quite a crap ton of money. And the Harvest Festival, we should have in time... What's the Harvest Festival again? Is it music? I think it's the music. I think the Harvest Festival involves music. Right, let's water the plants while we're here. I think this will take another three days to water, which is okay with me. Alright, there we go. There we go. And let's sprinkle over here over here and then sprinkle right over here and over oops and over here here we go right let's um, quickly pick up these where is he i like how many times am i gonna whistle for that horse now, that's not the first that's not the um, first like the fourth time i've done that now right let's pick these up whenever 
All right, you doubt horse has actually started to annoy me. I've got to find it now. Because I thought he would have ran to me already, but it's not. So let's go this way. And finally, here. Right, when is this thing going to upgrade to gold? Because I think that's the next upgrade it's going to be, is gold. So, um, right, what we're going to do is actually um, pick up the brush. We're going to sell all of our... Um, not all of them, but we're going to keep one eggplant. So the best part of this is the fact that um, we got, we actually can um, do as much eggplants as we want. That's why I bought three, because I, I was kind of curious that the eggplant would actually do that. So what we're going to do is keep um, an eggplant for Marie, Maria, and then we're going to um, continue. <laughs> so where's um, Otacon? Otacon, where the hell are you? Otacon, I'm caught, oops, Otacon, I'm calling for you. There you are. Come here and get your brushing. Lucky I put you down. I saw what you did, you naughty dog. I see what I did there, but yes, naughty dog. Good thing I pulled it down, because it would have peed on me. I don't think they do that in this game, but I'm just making things up as I go along, but that's just me. Let's go to the library. Hello, Maria. Hi, how are you doing? Yep, you keep saying that, but I don't mind listening to you. Do you want an eggplant? Yes, you do. You're welcome. See you later. So I paid you a visit each and every time. I think we're going to do that. We're going to give her cabbage. So that's why I'm making up a lot of uh, money. So after the horse race, we're going to... Wait, let's see. I need to check when the, ho the horse race is at the end of the month. So after that month ends, we're going to immediately... Um, we're going to immediately build that um, greenhouse once the um, horse racing festival ends. Because the more um, the more um, I have um, of money, is the more medals I can put on that um, on all the horses, so that I can actually um, win, get a chance to win some things, so that I can actually um, buy more things with the medals. So yeah, I, I that's what I'm aiming for. Of course, you can exploit. Of course, with this game, they made you exploit the. Um, of course, um, I was saying they make you exploit the glitch where you don't have to spend all your money. You can just press it and then that's it. So, yeah. Of course, they made you exploit that and then um, you can bet as much as you want. Which is pretty funny, actually. Right, there we go. There we go. I think we go in here and pick up the mushroom. Alright, how much money did we make? Ooh, very good. Look at that. We're getting closer to our goal. So, that's even better. Alright, pick you up. Pick up. Alright, so that's it. What we're going to do actually is um, sell all the pulleys to sell. So yeah, we're, we're very close to our um, goal. I think by the time before we reach the horse race, this um, horse racing festival, we'll probably have that thirty thousand ready, and so that we can buy the greenhouse and then we can just start worrying about our house. You know, I think a lot of people are probably saying I'm playing this wrong, but um, I don't know if I'm playing this wrong. I'm, I just play it the way I play it because. Um, of course, I'm still relatively new to this game, because this, I'm not going to lie, like I said to you in my previous playthrough of this game before I lost all the playthrough, um, this is actually my first time playing a Harvest Moon game, and um, I don't regret waiting for such a long time, because um, this is kind of like one of those games you can play on a day like Sunday and just relax, you know, like... Um, I know everyone uses Sunday as a lazy, relaxed day if they're not working or whatnot. This is my type of thing to relax and have a positive vibe throughout um, to cap the weekend off perfectly. That's one reason why I am um, now doing double episodes of these so that um, I can get to where I am quicker and that I can also, um, well, I can also, um, let's check the weather. I can also, um, you know, I can give you double content on said day because um, I promised I would keep it um, consistent with the double episodes of Harvest Moon. And I'm going to keep to my promise on that. Oh, look, you're in front of me this time, Otacon. That was the dog that's gone missing. God. Oh, there he is. There we go. And now we're going to give the dog some food. And now we're going to um, water the eggplants. Yep, we're going to, I think these take about three, four days to actually um, grow fully again. Yeah, I don't think you really get much for eggplants, but you know, um, it's there. I'm not going to complain. Um, it is a constant growing tree, so I can't really complain much about that. Um, it constantly has a grow growing eggplant here. Can't really complain because the fact that um, at least I don't have to constantly buy. You know, I don't have to constantly buy the um, buy some seeds. I know you have to for cabbage and whatnot, but 
that's also okay for me but um, at least we're um, going to eventually upgrade the watering can because that water this watering can has been through the wars but for now let's go in here and feed the chickens we're gonna do another day after this and then call it a video because um, I'm not gonna get to the um, harvest festival on time but that's okay I think there's another festival before the horse racing festival which is always something I look forward to the horse racing one anyway because I can cheat I guess that's one reason why I look forward to it, because of the fact that I can cheat. And um, glitch the game. Does it stare to be exploited? Thanks to um, Huli um, from um, Huli slash um, Secret Theory for um, showing me that glitch. I don't think I would have known about that glitch if it wasn't for her, actually. Because um, I think, um, from memory, she knows this game from the back of her hand. She does. She actually recommended me to play this game, and my girlfriend, actually, funny enough. But yes, the pair of them said, you have to play a Harvest Moon game. How have you not played it? How have you not played a Harvest Moon game? And I just thought to myself, I, you know what? When people told me Harvest Moon, I was like, Animal Crossing. That's always what crossed my mind, is Animal Crossing. When people kept telling me about Harvest Moon, I always said Animal Crossing. Even in some of my videos, I kept calling Harvest Moon Animal Crossing, and I just kept thinking to myself... Samurai, you mentioned half, um, Animal Crossing a lot, and you haven't even played much of that. And to be honest, I haven't. I have missed out on a few games in my time. But the only real reason why I remember um, Animal Crossing is because of the fact that um, Rosetti's an assist trophy in that stupid game, uh, Smash Brothers Bruin. He's annoying. I'm not even going to sit here and say he's not annoying. He's very annoying. I can see why many people just hate his guts in um, Harvest Moon. I can understand what... Animal Crossing! You see what I mean? I'm mixing the names together now. <laughs> I'm actually mixing the names together now. That's terrible. Right, I really need to stop mixing the names together. Right, let's go and visit Maria. Maria, I've come to give you something. I don't think you like... I'm not sure if you like herbs, but... Just in case if you uh, just in case if you're um, overworking yourself, I'll make you feel better. Oh, hello. I'll first let's give this to you. Thank you very much. You're welcome. Yep, it does. I can tell you enjoy your job. What about you? I heard your grandpa just got too old to work to the farm. Yes, he did. But that's okay. I guess um, you can't you can't always uh, work forever. You always you do have to retire eventually. But yeah, I'm not too worried. I'm running this farm by myself, and seems I'm doing a good job. <laughs> well, it seems I'm doing an okay job. I can't really get too cocky. And then again, cockiness is something I tend to be... Oh! Snake? Yes? Hello? Hi. I, I, I brought you this. I thought you might be hungry. Oh, thanks! Well, keep up the good work. Oh wow, that's actually the second time she's brought me food. <laughs> you know what, I think um, I think um, you know you're making progress with that individual once they keep bringing you food. That's actually the second time she's done that, so I think I'm doing a good job with Maria. Um, I think uh, that's the way you know that um, you're close to actually um, having affections for you, because that's the second type of food she brought. I think the first one she brought was chocolate, actually. But the second time is rice balls, and I normally eat that for food, um, for breakfast when I wake up. But she just gave it to me to keep up with my day. Thanks, Maria. It's appreciated. So it shows, it shows not shows, it shows that I'm making progress in general. But yes, um, hopefully uh, we can continue this good work. Well, there is nothing for us to... Oh yeah, there is. Let's go click that uh, mushroom in the mountains and the um, and, uh, raspberry. <laughs> So let's go up here. We're going hard at work here, and at least we're making progress with uh, Maria, because Maria's been giving us um, food lately, so I think that shows pro signs of progression with um, the girls, because I think if you depend on what girl you make progress with, they do tend to um, give you food. So I'm going to go one more day, what I'm going to do is pick up these, and then sell them. 27,000, not bad, so we're getting closer and closer to our own profits, which is... Um, the greenhouse, so we're going to go another day. 
I suppose it's good that I'm going um, for over 20 minutes for both videos because um, I do like to provide content as much as I can. I do like to keep my promises. This year, I want to keep my promises. Uh, hopefully, this year, I'll add more stuff, like a retrospective and whatnot. I, I've been wanting to do that since I've returned to Let's Plays, but... Um, <laughs> Or since I've returned to YouTube, um, that I like to review old games and whatnot uh, without needing um, things. But my problem is, is that uh, with my microphone, um, with my microphone, um, you guys do hear my fan. I know the quality is better in terms of me being heard louder than usual. That's good for me. But what I want from microphones for my um, my laptop not to be heard, you know, like the fan. I don't want that to be heard at all. Uh, tomorrow's gonna rain. Okay, that's uh, that's okay. It's gonna rain. That's fine. That's the day before the um, harvest festival, so I'm not too bothered. But yeah, um, I I do need to invest in a new microphone. So yeah, that will be my next goal. But um, if I don't get a new microphone dead, then I will probably um, do a retrospective to see how it sounds or some a review. Just a quick little review of a game, and then probably see how that goes and whatnot. Like, it's just my personal opinion about the game. You know, I'm not going to hold back on it. You know, and whatnot. I might start with a crappy game, actually. I don't know, but... Um, it's, it's always been a plan for me to do a retrospective, but... Um, or game reviews and whatnot. It's just... It's always been the plan for me to do that, but... Um, I just really... Um, well, I'm comfortable doing Let's Plays, so that will always be a thing, but... Um, I do like to expand because um, obviously the more the older you get, um, the more ambitious you become. Sometimes anyway, or even as a kid, you're ambitious. But um, I think your ideas more come into fruition once you once you get older because you know you're going to be capable enough to do it. And once you get the right equipment, then that's it for you. For me, I'm still in need of a new microphone, so um, I will work towards that. Um, That'll be my next goal, so that I can actually get a new microphone. I know a lot of people have, like, um, different microphones, but that's okay. For now, I'm using my laptop microphone, and it's a good thing, because you guys can still hear me louder than the game. So, I can't really complain about that, but um, I do have um, different aspirations, because... Um, so it's good to expand, you know, especially when it's something you want to do. As long as you have the motivation and you're passionate for it, um, you should be fine, but... Um, you know, I do have goals ahead of me and whatnot. I do like to achieve them. I think alone, me um, having a consistent Let's Play schedule and um, returning to Let's Plays, that alone has been a success for me. Because um, going into the high end has kind of um, broke me a bit, you know, because I always considered doing this as a job. Well, for me, it's a passion and a job and a fun hobby. But once I um, couldn't get the computer fixed and whatnot, I tried for uh, two years to say at least to fix my computer. And it just wasn't working. I tried every solution, literally everything, to fix that computer. And it just wasn't working. So what I had to do was just um, save up and just um, buy another um, computer, which is why in 2000 and... Um, was it 2000? 2016, you saw me make my return. I did tease Fatal Fury within 2013-14, but it never happened. So um, when I returned in 2016 with that FIFA video, I was pretty excited because um, a lot of people kind of was clamoring for my return. Everyone was saying, when are you going to return? You know, there was a lot of subscribers, even um, old subscribers, like kept private messaging me saying, are you ever going to return this? Are you finished? And all that. And no, I wasn't. <laughs> Of course, um, when I started, my popularity was quite bad, but, um, you know, when you're in a long hiatus, like, your, your old subscribers tend to leave, and that's what happened to me, and, um, because YouTube does what it does, which is purge your channel, if uh, people aren't as active, they purge your subscribers, which kind of annoys me. I've, I've been, uh, I've been a victim of, um, the subscriber deletion purge or something like that. Well, that's what I call it anyway. I've been a victim of that tons of times, but I just don't let it get to me, you know, because there was a time I was actually near a thousand, or on a thousand in, um, 2012, this was before my hiatus, I was near that goal, and, um, when I went into hiatus, it just, uh, everything just went to crap, like, my channel was getting purged off subscribers so fast, that, um, when I returned, I was only on, um, 
90. So yeah, that, that kind of hurt to lose like all, nearly all my subscribers. Literally. It kind of hurt me so bad, but um, you choose not to um, get beaten up by the system. You choose to just bounce back. And I have. Um, I can say I have. And um, I'm going to do more streaming and whatnot to try and improve everything. And I'm going to try and do what I said I was going to do, which is retrospectives and whatnot. And I don't think I'll be able to visit Marie, so, uh, Maria, so what I'm going to do is go sleep early. And end the video, but yeah, it was a nice time to talk to you guys and whatnot. Ramble about birds, ramble about my um, future, ramble about the few things. Yeah, this is kind of more of an update, but um, as you can see, I'm in a positive mood. As you can see in my voice, I'm well happy and whatnot. I'm in a very good place. I do enjoy recording Harvest Moon. I do enjoy recording everything. I just enjoy doing this again. You know, I know this is my third year fully coming back, but I got big aspirations and I'm going to do, fulfill them. I mean, you know, before I lose motivation and walk away from YouTube, which I, that will never happen because I love doing my job, but um, I want to expand. So, yeah, I do want to do um, stretch upon game reviews and whatnot. So, yeah, you'll just have to wait and see. I can't make any promises that anything will be released within a few um, a few weeks, but we shall see. I'll try. I'll try and work something around. But for now, the Let's Plays will be done. But um. I will be starting a new project next week because Mirror's Edge um, should be finished on Tuesday, so that's one news. Doom will obviously resume on Monday, Wednesdays, and Fridays because I did um, I did upload Mirror's Edge on Wednesday instead of Doom because I missed um, Tuesday because um, power outrage and Wi-Fi was down completely, so I couldn't really do nothing. That was against my that was against my will, so I had to skip Tuesday uploads, but that's okay. But um. Yeah, when we come back, folks, next week, we're going to do the Harvest Festival, and, um, well, normal schedule, so a new project will start on Thursday after Mirror's Edge is complete on Tuesday, because we're on the finale, and um, Doom will continue until it's finished, because um, we do have, um, we're doing the secret mission Fear, which is tomorrow, and um, I don't know, um, I don't know um, if I'll be doing two videos, but we shall see. It depends how long I take to finish Fear. If I take 18 minutes to finish it, then, yeah, that'll be just a single mission, but that's okay. But, yeah, um, thank you guys for listening, and thank you guys for watching this video. Um, I shall see you guys next week for another double header of Harvest Moon. Samurai Texas signing out. See you at the Harvest Festival, everybody. Goodbye. Enjoy the rest of your Sunday.